Today we're making shrimp and grits, right? Listen, not gonna over talk it, we finna get right into it, cause as you guys can see right here in front of me, there are a few ingredients, right? Now, let me just say, if you've been following me for a minute and we've been like learning, the reason I set everything off to the side like I do, I measure, it makes it easy when I cut, you know, when I cook, and then if I separate everything on this side, that's for one thing, I separate things on this side, that's for another, it just makes it so much easier. So let's get it, folks. Now, first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and start to make our grits, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get me a little fire going. Now, here my grits are right here, right? Now, you guys wanna make it as according to how your grits are made on the box, right? So, we're gonna do one cup. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Then, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, so it's gonna be equal parts. So this right here will be two cups, you know, of water. Now I wanna bring this up to a boil. I'm gonna turn this to high now. Let's get that to boiling. Okay, so once I get it up to a boil, again, you guys wanna go ahead and just put in, read the instructions that's on your grits, right? You know what I mean? Uh, you use grits, sometimes it depends on which ones you're using. It could take you up to 30 minutes to make them, but I like to stir mine in little bit at a time just so nothing gets you know lumpy All right and then we just let this cook as per the instructions on your box okay so you guys can see look it's nice silky this is gonna take a minute to cook so what we want to do is I'm gonna take this move this over there to my stove and then we're gonna go ahead and start making the sauce all right so while we having our grits cooked right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with our shrimp first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle a little Creole kick now, don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website, right? That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com, right? There's a reason why I'm, I'm doing it this way. I just want to show you something. What we want to do is we want the flavors, you know, from our seasoning to adhere and to soak deep up into the, uh, to our shrimp, right? So we do this and we let it like just sit up and marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes as we do everything else, right? So we're gonna work on that sauce. But this is what you wanna do. And I left this out right here so you guys can see. Look, white pepper. We gotta start using that, folks. Listen, it's a little bit different than the black crack that we normally use or we're used to, but this right here gives you a nice little unique flavor to it. Now, obviously you guys see that I have my, you know, diced uh, yellow bell pepper, green, green bell pepper and then right here I got my celery right but normally you make your you start making your grits I just went over there and stirred them just to make sure that you know they're not getting lumpy or nothing is happening over there you know what I mean and uh, then you prep this after you do your prep this will have had time to go ahead and marinate with the flavors that you had you know put in there right which was the white pepper and the creole seasoning now what I'm getting ready to do now is we're getting ready to work on that sauce so let's get a little fire going I start with just like a medium flame, right? Got that going, then I'm gonna use two, you know, this is just two tablespoons of butter. All right, and now that we have our, you know, our butter is melted, now we wanna just go ahead and put our shrimp in right on top of the butter, right? And you just wanna do one layer. Now, it depends on how much uh, shrimp you have, you might need to do this in batches, and depending on how big your pan is. Okay, so medium flame, right? And then when I put them in here, like I said, you put them in here like this, right? We just wanna go for like one, one and a half, maybe maybe two, it really depends on your flame. I can see this one right here is cooking, cause look, even on the thin part, I'm starting to see it turn, you know, turn color. All right, then when they're done, you just wanna go ahead and take them out, set them aside, and start your next batch. As many batches as you need. Now we're going to add our uh, andouille, right? And that's up to you, you guys can cut the medallions, that works. Right, or you can go ahead and do it the way I'm gonna do it right here. I'll do it both ways so you guys can see like what the end result is, right? I just like the fact that when I put these little pieces in here like that, and then when we make a sauce, right? We already got that butter and shrimp flavor in there already inside of the, the pan, right? So we just add this to it. When they real small like this, this and they heat up fine and release, release, release their andouille flavor into it. You guys gotta just trust me, folks. It's fire. So now we add it here. Now we got that Creole flavor, right? We had that seasoning in there, that shrimp and that butter. Come on. Now I just want to show you this. I put these in here like I told you guys I would, just so you guys can decide whether you want to do them, you know, the whole circle way. I just call them like little medallions. 
or do you want to do them diced down like this? I like them like this a little bit better, especially when I'm making a sauce. But you guys be the judge. You can slice them like this, or you can do them like that. All right, and then when these are done, look, all you want to do is take these, you can put them in the same plate or bowl that you guys are using, you know, for that you put your, you stage your shrimp on. Now what you want to do is you add the rest of your, you should have two remaining, you know, tablespoons of butter. You want to get this melted down. Now, look at the color of that. That's all of the fine mixing with the new butter, right? And all of the goodness in there. Now we want to add our onions. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just give these a little bit of a head start. Look how it just soaks all of that goodness up. Now we're getting ready to come with all of the rest of the, the uh, veggies, right? Should be yellow, green bell pepper, and celery. And you remember if anything had stuck down to the bottom, it depends on what kind of pot you have, how good it's seasoned, or whatever you're using. Don't forget the acidity that's in these onions and this bell pepper, everything right here helps get everything off the bottom. You know what I mean? Uh, that puts the flavor back into your dish. This all marinades and mm. So listen, we're gonna go ahead and let this work for about four to five minutes, right? We wanted to get these to start to soften. These are softened to my liking right here. Nice softened, I promise you. It's got a lot of seasoning in it, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is, well, I can leave that in there. We get ready to add, and I like to put this on top. We're gonna start adding our garlic, right? And I got five cloves right here. Let's go ahead and get these done. Look at that right there. Nothing like fresh garlic, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you, when I had picked up some paste, you know what I mean, uh, that was kind of good too. Reason being, I don't know, I can't really say why it was, but I can say it seemed like it was a little bit more flavorful, you know, being in pre uh, paste form. But this right here, listen, fresh ingredients works. Now what we wanna do is we just wanna, you know, mix this thoroughly, keep it moving. We don't wanna burn our garlic. Now you just want to go ahead and keep your garlic moving around for about one minute, right? Then after that, you want to bring in your flour into the mix. So now we're going to go ahead and just mix this in, right? Put it in, and we let that absorb. But the main thing is, you want to cook it so we can get that flour taste out, right? That's going to be our thickening agent. Look at this. Now I want to look at my fire. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down to a very, very low flame pot is hot enough but again we cooking out that flour taste so after about one minute of this you know moving it around we I'm sure that we didn't cook that flour taste out now All right now you want to get your broth and you want to start adding that Now you guys are starting to see how it's starting to transform into a gravy, right? So now I'm gonna raise my heat back up, medium flame. And you just wanna keep moving it. Now, if I stop, it should simmer. You see that right there? It's starting to simmer. It's a nice thickness. Now we wanna make it smooth, right? So now we bring in our cream. This here is how we gonna have a creamy, you know, shrimp and grits, right? But we ain't done yet. Just stay with me, folks. All right, so now I just tasted this and made a little bit of an adjustment. I added another pinch of salt to it and that was just enough to make this right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring back my andouille and everything that was good inside that had came off you know, that had soaked and dripped down into my bowl, we put all of that back. Now we just go ahead and give this a mix like this. Oh yeah. And this right here is what we are gonna pour on top of them grits, folks. Now, I always talk, I kept talking in the very beginning like it's gonna be che uh, creamy and all of that. I got it. But now we finna go ahead and check it. I think them grits is ready. We look at this here. Mm. 
you see this right here, folks? These grits is right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start that whole debate about this. When you're having your grits just the regular way, do you guys do salt and pepper or do you do it with sugar? I'm gonna let y'all know right now so we can get that debate going. All right, off the back, check this out, folks. I am a sweet grits man. That, some cheesy grits and some flaky biscuits, and I'm happy. Now I got a real, real small, like a low flame underneath the bottom of it, you know? Yes, sir, look at that. Now we're gonna add our cream. To do is I want to go ahead and continue to cook it until all my cream is completely you know mixed inside of my grits I don't want to see any of this white on there all right but you see that right there mm. this is actually almost ready folks I'm gonna bump this fire up just a little bit more and then last but not least we're gonna come with that cheese folks yes we are folks look I just sampled this right here and I can tell you it just every time I make it it just it never ceases to amaze me you know what I mean uh, this right here when you taste this I promise you with your eyes closed you take a nice breath when you inhale and you put it in your mouth you know what I mean uh, this right here take you down if this don't put you down in the bayou you know what I mean or something like that and there's something wrong you probably ain't never been there before but I promise you listen if you ain't never been down that way this is the authentic flavor that you want now you can hear my voice picked up. Listen, I done pulled myself out of that time machine because I felt like I was there. And listen, I'm not finna over talking. I'm finna get down and get me another one of these. The flavor is there. But the key is making sure that your shrimp is not overcooked. Ooh, man. And these grits, though. Oh, man. This right here is right. The best part of my job is I get to sample it in all stages, but I get to taste that final, and I always put myself something on the side and go ahead and hit that so I know what I'm gonna, you know, talk about when, you know, when we uh, do the, uh, the wrap up, right? But I wanna show you this. Have you guys been doing it wrong? Cause I have been, look right here. Listen, when you put this, when you put your gravy on the top, right? And this is how they bring it out to you and they put all of that and they make it all fancy, right? Do you eat your grits this way and then get a little bit of that? Or do you do it this way? Cause I found when you mix it up like this, now every bite has it, instead of you like just devouring it. And when I say creamy, look at that right there. Look at my grits. And don't forget the grits was extra cheesy, folks. Look, oh yeah, this is what you wanna have. Hey, so listen, I'm about to knock this off. Now, let me know what you guys would do to turn this into like a, to put this dish like on another level, right? I'd be interested in reading what you guys got down in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And I'm out.